Hello everyone. It's now been two years since I started this channel. I've done a lot of videos on money and I thought it was about time I did a video that would allow me to, you know, allow all of us to take a few minutes and think about what it is that we're really trying to achieve in life. I wanted to tell you a story about an American businessman who was standing on a pier one day in a small coastal Mexican village when a small boat came up with one fisherman at, to the dock. Inside the small boat were several large yellowfin tuna. The American complimented the Mexican fisherman of the quality of his fish. He asked him, how long did it take you to catch those? The Mexican fisherman replied, oh, only a few hours. The American said, well, why don't you stay out longer and catch more fish? The Mexican fisherman said, well, I have plenty of fish here for my family's needs. Then the American said, well, what do you do with all the rest of your time? The Mexican fisherman said, oh, I like to sleep in late. I fish a little, play with my kids take a siesta with my wife Maria. In the evenings I like to stroll down to the village and have some drinks with friends, play my guitar and sing songs. I have a very full, busy life, senor. The American scoffed. Well, I have an MBA from Harvard and it sounds like you need some help, my friend. Today's your lucky day. Listen up. You need to spend more time fishing, first of all. With the extra fish, you can get yourself a bigger boat. And as a little time goes on, you can save up some more fish and you can get a second boat. Then you could hire somebody to run that boat. And in no time at all, you could have a whole fleet of boats. Instead of selling your catch to a middleman, you could sell directly to consumers. You could even open up a cannery at some point. You'd control the product, processing, and distribution. Then you could get out of this small village and move to Mexico City. You could eventually move to LA, and you might even make it to New York, where you could run your expanding enterprise. The Mexican fisherman asked, but senor, how long is that going to take? The American said, oh, maybe 20 to 25 years. But what then, senor? The American laughed. <laughs> oh, but that's the best part, you see. You do an IPO and you take your company public and sell shares. See, and then you can make millions. Millions, senor? Then what? The American said slowly, well, then you could retire. You could move to a small fishing village where you could sleep in late. You could play with the grandkids. You could take a siesta with your wife. In the evenings, you could go downtown, have drinks with friends and play the guitar and sing songs. The fisherman still smiling looked back at the American and said but senor isn't that what I'm already doing now I wanted to share that story with everyone I think that that's a great story to put things in perspective of, you know how you measure success and just to think about you know what you're really trying to achieve in life and where you're headed and, you know is it really worth putting off happiness until your golden years so please leave comments below and we could discuss this. You know, a funny thing, when I first got married to my wife, who's from Peru, she didn't understand why I thought it was so important to work so much and to save for retirement. But she kept saying, well, I want to live now. I don't want to just work and then you know, save for when I'm old and then we can finally live then. 
and coming from her country it was easier to be the fisherman you know because of the way this country's become it's not as easy to be the fisherman and I didn't really look at things that way but she wanted to enjoy life now where most Americans are brought up to postpone that and go through the stress and hard work now to have it later on in life but you can actually you know you should be able to have it all along which is actually you know easier in other countries so anyway talk to y'all soon